and we will meet the men who have qualified from heats and semi-finals today to make the final of the men's 60 meters. The world indoor record and the championship record held by Marie Screen and Asafa Powell has twice run 6.44 today for the world leading mark. Can he do it again? Can he go even better? Can someone beat him? It's the final of the men's 60 meters. What a climax we've got to day two of the World Indoor Championships in Athletics. The smoke and the fire and through that will emerge our gladiators for this final event. So here we come. Marvin Bracey of the United States of America who's now won the US title three times in succession. He will run in lane one. He is the defending silver medalist. Xi Shen Yi of China matched his personal best. The 22-year-old former Youth Olympic gold medalist goes in lane two. Now we have the second of the three Americans, the United States of America. From lane three, we have Trayvon Bromel, the world bronze medalist from the 100 meters last summer, world junior silver medalist before then. Then Kim Collins, if he were to get a medal, he would be the oldest man ever to do so in the history of World Indoor Athletics by sort of half a year ahead of the great Bernard Lagat. Now we have the man who's shown himself to be the man of the year so far, but can he win his first individual gold medal on a global stage? Asafa Powell, brilliantly, twice 6.44 today. Coming out next is the young Chinese athlete, Su Bing Chan, who made the world final at 100 meters in Beijing last year and has smashed the Asian record today with 6.50 in his semi. This man also smashed through the Barbados record, taking it down from 6.60 to 6.53. It's Ramon Gittens. And a man now who was fourth in 2008 second in 2010 the IF tour winner this year Mike Rogers making the third man from the United States to take part in this final what a classy lineup all eight men have run 655 or better for their personal bests but one meter better than the number eight in this lineup is the man who goes in lane five a Safa Powell from Jamaica well, he's been under the shadow, I suppose, of Usain Bolt in recent years. But we have to remember, he set three world records at 100 meters a decade ago. He's run 99 sub 10 second 100 meter runs, plus a few wind assisted ones as well. Marvin Bracey, a great talent. You don't win three successive US sprint titles without doing that. And of course, he was the silver medalist. And he's got one of the outside lanes here. He's in lane one. Xi of China, two Chinese athletes, real force for sprinting. Remember, they got the silver medal in the relay in Beijing. Trayvon Bromel, another of the youngsters, both Bracey and Bromel, the new generation of US sprinters, second in the world juniors. And then a different generation, it's Kim Collins, the world 100 meter champion of 2003, and only two hundredths of a second outside his own personal best today in the semi-final every reason to suppose he can go faster and the attention on the brilliant runs we've had today by Asafa Powell firstly going clear in his first round heat then under a little bit of pressure but still doing it again in the semi-final Su Biang Tian who smashed the Asian record 650 only just missed a medal two years ago in Sopot he was fourth on that occasion and he's run 650 today then it's Ramon Gittens the Barbadian, who was second in the Pan American Games last year, came here with the best of 660. He's run 653. The experienced Mike Rogers, he's got a best of 649, set five years ago. Twice a world championship finalist, the 100 meters, twice in the final of the world indoor championships before this classic race. Looking at Bromel in lane three. So it's Bracey in one, she in two. Bromel in three, Collins in four, Powell here in lane five, then Sue, then Gittens, then Rogers. The men's 60 meters. And away they go. And can Powell get into running, getting it going now? But no, he's not going to do it once again. 
it's been shaded out Trayvon Brumell is the man the man, youngster from the United States of America Powell I think might have got second but Brumell clearly the winner here and it's a fine time 647 but Powell ran quicker earlier in the day but when it comes to the final well it's happened again but all full marks to Trayvon Brumell who came clear the time has been confirmed it's 647 it's a personal best the new generation have triumphed Trayvon Brumell taking the gold medal and we're just waiting for the judges to work out who's got the other races it was pretty close all the way down Brumell in three Collins in four Powell in five let's look at it again and look at the gentleman in 39 years of age Kim Collins because he's done it he has beaten us up a Powell and Ramon Gittens has done it as well to get into the medals it's Bromel Collins Gittens Bromel the new champion the youngster Collins the oldest ever male medalist in world indoor championship history and uh, Powell has to settle for being out of the medals as the results are shown at the moment subject to complete confirmation of those times Bromel given 647 Collins 650, Gittin 651, Powell hasn't come up yet, that's slightly odd. That does seem strange. I'm not sure because of course we have to wait until the full result comes through. Sometimes we get the results on our computer screens coming up quickly. And I think that Powell was in the mix. But the headline here, whether he's finished second, third or fourth, is that once again, once again, he has in the lead up to a final shown us just how unbelievably talented he is but he has once again, unfortunately, demonstrated mental fragility at the very moment where he needed to once again deliver his best. I think we may have to ignore those times. I, I'm not happy with them, <laughs> apart from the fact that clearly this man has taken the gold medal. Well, you look at the reaction times on the start. Let's take nothing away from Trayvon Bromel. A reaction time of 0.21 seconds in lane three, the fastest in the race, faster than Asafa Powell in lane number five, who was the fa third fastest in the final to react. He didn't start like he did in the two rounds previously. And there's the photo finish, and you can see the results that have come through so far outside of our gold medal winner are not accurate because Kim Collins, well, it looks like a Saf it's a real close but one look between at the a fine Safa Powell and Gittings in lane number yeah, seven. Yeah, I mean, look at the fine dip by Gittings. I think he's got second, and it looks to me like Powell's got third. Yes. Indeed. Indeed. But the headline here is that a Safa Powell has twice today, once with effortless ease and the other with a little bit of hard work, he has twice run faster than Trayvon Brumel's time for the gold medal. It was his for the taking, and when it mattered, he froze again. Yeah, we're still, still showing Collins in second. Unfortunately, he wasn't. He had a fine run, but as you can see clearly, Collins, who was uh, lane four, is well back from the contenders. In fact, he's seventh, I think, probably on that race. It was pretty close, though. Look at that photo. Only a metre separating, or perhaps a metre and a half, separating first from eighth. Still waiting for confirmed. They, for some reason, have missed Powell. <laughs> but uh, I think he was there. I think he was third from that photo. Yeah, from that photo, it looked as though Gittins had taken the silver with Powell in third. And it's such a shame that Asafa Powell didn't take this opportunity. But let's take nothing away from Brumel. Bronze medal last year, which was absolutely sensational. And he's taken a step up in class. The Jamaican has come up short once again, but the American has delivered on home soil in style. Well, he has the talent that wanted to be an NFL superstar, but he said, I wasn't tall enough. I couldn't make myself big enough, but you know what? I can run. So their loss is athletics is gain. And there's a Safa Powell. He always has a smile, but what would you give to know what's going through his mind? He was superb in qualifying. And once again, he'll get a medal. Yeah, and the computer mm -hmm. is showing. In fact, we thought Gittens maybe have got there. We, we were pretty sure of the medalists. In fact, the computer is now showing Powell in second at 650. Gittens with another Barbados record at 651. And then she, Sue, Rogers, Bracey and Collins with 656 the last place Bracey and Collins given seventh equal at 656 really classy 
And 6.50 is not a bad time, is it? But off the back of running 6.44 twice and having an opportunity, of course, he's going to be disappointed. All the neutrals in track and field, I think, would have loved to have seen Asafa Powell take the gold here in Portland. But the night belongs to the American and fair play to that young man. And there's Great Britain starter Alan Bell presenting him with some flowers. And a Safa Powell. I think all the athletes, guys, are just making sure this is now the final result. Everybody's looking a little bit. Are you okay? Is this is how it's going to stay? Yeah, I mean, once it's changed <laughs> once or twice, you, you do begin to worry, don't you? Just want to make sure. Three of the first four, assuming it does stay, Bromel, Powell, Gittins and Xi. Apart from Powell, the other three set lifetime bests. Well, Asafa Powell at the moment confirmed in silver 6.50. So he joins Nesta Carter in 2012. He joins Michael Green in 1997 as a Jamaican silver medalist at the World Indoor Championships. They're yet to win a gold. But that young man there with a lovely bunch of flowers, Trayvon Brumel, made such a breakthrough last year, didn't he, in Beijing, sharing that bronze medal with De Grasse. Well, Powell's been made to wait to be sure. Well, he I, now I, you now you start to see the proper reaction. I, I, he will reflect on this as an opportunity missed. He seems like such a nice guy, and as you said, Catherine, so many neutrals who follow athletics would have been desperate for him to finally secure the individual global crown that he has I that he's desired for so long, but just coming up short again. I suppose if you look kind of get a positive, that's the best he's done in an individual, taking a silver after getting some bronze medals before. And he was, he was, and he was closing down on Bromel in terms of over 100 metre distance, but at the moment he won't care because he didn't get the gold medal. The winner of the men's 60 metres, Trayvon Bromel of the United States in 6.47. The silver medal going to Asafa Powell of Jamaica. And the bronze to Ramon Gittins of Barbados. And a national record of 6.51. A great race. Less than a tenth of a second separating all eight men down to Bracey and Collins who ran 6.56. A suitable climax to a great day, the second day of action in these World Indoor Championships here in the Portland Convention Center. And I must say, I think even our high expectations have been exceeded by the action that we've seen here today. We'd hoped it would be terrific. It has been.